A whole generation of lives is being destroyed in Syria. In the northern Kurdish-controlled city of al Hasaka, doctors treat those who fled the fighting but can't escape the trauma. Bewildered and fearful, many here lived in Raqqa, ISIL's self-proclaimed capital. In another camp, children are also taking their first steps towards rebuilding their lives, but can't forget the nightmares. One day they beheaded people and left their bodies on the ground. I couldn't handle it. I wanted to sleep, but I couldn't. I had nightmares and would stay awake. Parents, too, struggle to cope. Dina's brother was killed in an airstrike. She now cares for his child as well as her own children. When they'd see a plane, they'd be so scared, even if it wasn't striking. They'd see it and immediately hide. My youngest son, when he heard it, he'd wake up and not go back to sleep. This is the long and dangerous road into Raqqa and where their nightmares live on. The Syrian Democratic Forces, a coalition of Kurds and Arab soldiers backed by the US, are pushing ISIL fighters back, reclaiming territory. Lifeless and empty, the destruction is almost total. No one truly knows how many have died here, as all sides destroy a city they want to possess. It's estimated as many as 25,000 civilians are trapped, almost half are children, and Syrians who try to leave are killed by ISIL fighters. I cannot stress enough the word trap. 10,000 children trapped uh, in Raqqa in a still bit dire conditions, no electricity, no water, uh, probably very little food, um, and you know, suffering uh, the, 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 the battle uh, almost every day. For the families trapped inside, it is a living nightmare. If Raqqa falls, it would mean ISIL loses the capital of its so-called caliphate. But this city, like the country, will take many years and billions of dollars to rebuild. What can be done for the children in camps to rebuild their lives? They may now be safe, but they've seen more bloodshed than anyone should. And the defeat of ISIL doesn't guarantee peace. Duncan Crawford, Al Jazeera.